All right, so uh, my name is Lee, and we're going to find stick magnets on Christopher's fingers using a kit that I got at the drugstore, um, and tiny little magnets that I'm not going to pick up because they'll stick to the magnets on my fingers. Um, so it's a two-part, uh, it's basically a two-part acrylic um, with a monomer liquid and a polymer, um, polymer liquid, um, and we're going to see how well it works. So. The first thing we need to do is uh, using a buffer, um, which one is it? This one. Uh, just file the surface of his nail down, which is really uncomfortable. Sorry, Christopher. It does feel a bit weird. Yeah. It's like, it's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong. It's wrong. So if you go to like a nail salon to get an overlay done, they use like crazy Dremel tools to file down the surface yeah, of your nail. It's sort of terrifying. The place I went to in Seattle that I got my magnets done, one of the things that I liked about them was that they didn't use the Dremels at all. Huh. Alright, I think that's good enough. So, uh, bah, bah, bah. right, overlay first. You can see it sort of filling in all the cracks. So how, what is it like opening uh, plastic seals and stuff when you have nails that are actually acrylic? Um, it doesn't really make any difference. No. I'm not sure what you mean. Well, I, I figured that it would be stronger than oh, nails, so you would be able um, to cut through. So you're really not supposed to... One of the things that they tell you when you get your nails done is you're really not supposed to use... Um, the big way that we do damage to our nails is by using them as tools. And so if you're trying to keep your nails in like solid condition, either to not bite them or just because like, you want to look pretty, uh, the idea is to not use them as tools. This is the activator. So now we let it dry for three minutes, and then we'll stick the magnets on with, um, what's it called? Nail glue, which is actually just cyanoacrylate. Uh, cyanoacrylate? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. It's, uh, oh, that's now. See, I would have thought we put these on now, get them into the actual polymer. Um, well, we're going to do another layer over it. Ah, okay. Yes. Yeah, it's a two, uh, two-step process. It is... Contents, uh, ethyl cyanoacrylate, polymethyl methylacrylate. Oh, it's got acrylic in it. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, um, hmm, okay. So I'm going to have to get you to place the magnets, so what we need is some non-ferrous tweezers. No, eh? We don't have them? Um, Do you want to see if there's any There's in a there? pair of them there in the left side of the tool rack in one of the holes pointing down. They have orange coating on them. I think they say non-magnetic, non-acid. Anti-magnetic. Yeah. They're non-magnetic. Sweet. So you're going to split those magnets up. That print is an eye strain ovation. What is? On that file. Well, you're not supposed to read it all that often, right? But you just did. Yeah. Okay, so... Have we waited long enough? I think we waited long enough. So I put them fairly far back towards the cuticle on your nail. That way you have lots of growth time before uh, they come off. Yeah. Okay, so they're the same polarity. That's what I was going for. Is that what you have done? Yeah. So we'll do a little cloud. Damn it. 
That was a close call. <laughs> <laughs> they got glued to the Oh, yeah. Tweezers. No, that could have been. Okay, okay these, these tweezers are awesome. Alright, so... Let that dry for a few minutes. A minute or so. And then... Oh crap, I forgot to put this in the brush cleaner. I think I might have gotten my brushes screwed up. seeing if they're tacky or not, which they're not. Uh, this one might still be a little... Ah, that's good enough. Okay. So, uh, bring them over here a little. So I'm trying to not get it down near the edges of your cuticle. Yeah, but I don't know how much how good a job I'm doing there. Mm -hmm. Oh, you gonna get it just all this lumpy here? I'm trying to get it not too lumpy. Um, it looks like we may need a third layer, which is fine. Well, this feels less awkward than when I super good. Yes. Well, you're encasing them in a much more sturdy... Uh, ...setup. Looks like we're going to need one more layer. Okay. So now we let it dry for three minutes. Sure. It's 21. So let it... Don't touch it. No, <laughs> Can I see it in profile? Actually, let's see the camera. Okay, well, we just, we just did a third layer of gel um, over... Oh over Christopher's nails, so hopefully they will, we'll let them sit for a couple minutes and then put another layer of chop, of basically clear nail polish on them to seal them up. And then I think we're done. Still a pretty big bump. But, uh, well, I mean, it's it's going to be, there's going to be a bump no matter what. It, yeah. the, the key thing is whether or not we have a coating over the whole thing. Can I see? Yeah. Oh, that looks like... It looks like it's it's properly encased, which is what we're going for. We can go for another another layer. Well, what I'm just thinking is if I touch something, I don't want it to accidentally get bumped off. Yeah, for sure. I feel like this is probably pretty solidly encased. How did you go and do the flip thing where you go? Oh, um, flying. like that. So it's just you pick it up with the back of your hand and then flip it into your hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, and the best thing is bottle caps, like beer bottle caps. Yeah, I can. You can pick those up. Those. Oh, other you other way around. Up by accident. Uh, when I reach into my bin, my hand usually comes out covered in blisters. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> Which is kind of awesome. Oh, there we go. 
international. Uh, my fingers don't get stuck together too yeah. well, but mine at least do. Yes. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. Like, nothing else. Can we have a magnet around here that we can... Oh, I forgot to bring the big mag magnetic things I have. Oh, see if you can pick up a sewing needle. Yeah, probably. That's useful. Yeah. Is that yeah. a hard drive magnet? Uh, pretty close to. The oh, that's the stepper. Well, either that's the magnet or this. Ah, oh, cool. Is the magnet. I think that's the electromagnet. No, that's just no, steel. Then this is the magnet part, which makes sense. Yeah, because you wouldn't want to have that oh, yeah. electromagnet. So just pop it. <laughs> You're not going to be able to pick it up. No. Where's the hard drive magnet? You can probably pick that up. That'll.